Good evening, my name is Dave Gannon. I'm from the UK. I'm the Associate Head of the Business School and I deal mainly with the management side of business. So all the management programs come under my purview. So why management? What does management give you? Well, management is one of those wonderful degrees which equips you to do many, many things in your future. Now, for many people at this point in their lives, they're still not sure what it is they want to focus on. They're not sure where their passions lie or their interests lie. And that's what our management program, in a sense, is designed to do. It's designed to allow students to find out what interests them, what are their passions, what is it that they want to do with their lives in the future. So the way that the programs are designed in both the bachelor's and the master's is to give exposure to many, many areas uh, which concern management. So we might start off um, you know, with the introductions of marketing or HR. We may look at areas like financial accounting or management accounting. We then might move on to looking at issues around management such as change and leading change. We may go on to digital marketing. And then we look at issues in the the contemporary environment. What's the challenges that managers face today? So in our programs, whether you're bachelors or masters, the idea is the same, to look at many, many different areas of management, not only to see or to learn about them, but to find out for you as an individual where your passions lie. And passion and interest in what you're doing is the key to your success. If you're only interested in something, but you're not passionate about it, then you're, it's going to be much harder to succeed. And that's what we encourage all of our students, is to find areas of business and find areas that they want to pursue in their future. Now, because we look at so many areas from a management perspective, what it does, I feel, is give uh, our graduates a lot of confidence in themselves and their abilities to go off into the working world and be successful. Now, this can be simply translating very easily from the university setting into the working environment. But also we have a great deal or a great number of uh, young people who go on to become entrepreneurs, who set up their own businesses. We have people who set up web-based businesses. We have people who set up bricks and mortar businesses here in Prague, the Czech Republic and elsewhere. And all of them are very, very successful. Now, one of the things I ask them, because I always like to chat with our former students, is, well, why did you do this? What gave you the impetus to do it? And they said, well, one of the things that I got from the program at Prague College was the confidence, the confidence to actually go and pursue my dream. I saw something that I really wanted to do, and I wasn't afraid to do it. I felt that the knowledge that I'd gained from my classes, from the work that I'd done, from discussions and chats with my lecturers, from the whole experience that I had at Prague College gave me uh, the confidence to go off and do something, and something I'm very, very happy with. Now, I feel that this comes down to the way that we approach education here in the School of Business. We believe, in a sense, in a dialogue, a dialogue between the students and each other, a dialogue between the students and the lecturer. So unlike many universities, we don't take a strictly lecture-based approach. Our classes are limited in size because we want a dialogue going on between the lecturers, between the students throughout their studies and having too many people doesn't allow you to do that, obviously. But at the same time, the lessons are based around interactions, doing activities, looking at contemporary business situations, finding solutions to problems. Now, of course, like any university, you're going to have to do assessments and you're going to have to do projects and so on. But unlike other universities, we don't do a great deal of examinations. Our projects are based very much on the practical side. Of course, you're going to get a the theoretical knowledge uh, around the subjects, but then we focus very much on applying that knowledge to situations that you are going to face in the business world, whether it be a manager or bid as an entrepreneur in the future. And the idea behind it is that your education is going to have benefit for you, that it allows you to transition into whatever it is that you hope to achieve in the future very smoothly. And like those former students I mentioned, to give you the confidence to go and do that as well. 
the same time, we also believe that we need to give people flexibility. We need to give them the ability to, as they discover their passions and interests, and that later in their studies, they get the opportunity to focus on things that they are interested in. So what we find within the bachelor program, for example, is that as the program progresses, the students are given more and more flexibility to focus uh, their projects or the work that they do on areas of interest to them. To give you one example, um, in semester four, all our students will take the class Digital Marketing and New Technologies. Now, the project that they work on throughout that semester is based on the individual's hobbies, interests, passions. The lecturer doesn't say, this is what you're going to focus on. The student gets to choose because that leads to better motivation. But at the same time, allows them the ability to start developing ideas for the future, whether they want to be in business and they want to investigate or see how to market a business online, or perhaps they want to explore something like virtual management. And then when we get to the final year of the bachelors, of course, uh, the dissertation which has to be done, that is purely based on the student's own interest. The work that they do, they decide for themselves. The lecture, in that sense, is simply a guide along the process. And the outcome, um, it should be beneficial or helpful for that person's future. And it's the same as the master's level as well. When we do the dissertation on the master's level, again, there's no one telling you what to do. It's based on what you are passionate about, what you are interested in, and what actually is going to benefit you in the future. In your first semester, I always suggest my students, keep your assignments. Don't delete them, don't throw them away, but keep them safe. And when you finish your program, you take the last assignment you ever wrote and you compare it to the first one you ever wrote. And you will see such a major difference. So if you don't believe that you've changed, developed, just look at those two assignments and you'll see how far you've come within the three years of studying with us. There will be no comparison between the two. And in fact, when I do this exercise with many students, they're often quite ashamed of that first assignment that they submitted for me um, back many years ago. But yeah, that's it. It's a journey of development. And here you have really had that opportunity to really change yourself, to develop and be someone who the potential that you have and actually fulfill it.